2018 Macquarie Emerging Industries Summit, JY Park revealed JYP Entertainment's group launching plan. Ad choice as advertising in red invented by Teeds the first level was exporting Korean K-pop contents overseas, the way they did with 2PM and Wonder Girls. The second level was to discover foreign talents and mix them with Korean artists, like with GOT7, TWICE, and Stray Kids. Ad choice as advertising in red invented by Teeds the third level is now to directly foster and produce foreign talents overseas. This level has begun with Boy Story, a Chinese hip-hop boy group with the average age of 13 years old. They were launched through NCC Entertainment, a jointly produced entertainment company between Tencent Music Corporation and JYP Beijing. Boy Story's members trained under the K-pop system and debuted. Park announced plans for a new girl group with all Japanese members. You can see it as a twice with all Japanese members. They are expected to debut at the end of 2019 or early 2020, JY. Park Korean netizens are reluctant to the idea of a group with all Japanese members, although the group will be promoting within Japan. What do you mean a Japanese group? Just take care of the kids you already have, is this Japan? No matter how much marketability they add, do you think they will match our market? I feel repulsion, just go to Japan and call it. J-pop don't wrap it up as a K-pop to sell it. After suffering so much because of American disease in the past, don't now it's Japanese disease. You must have been jealous after watching SM and YG succeed in Japan, they won't succeed. He must be fooling himself after TWICE succeeded, but an all-Japanese group, with the immense success of TWICE and Produce 48, it will be interesting to see the response of Korean netizens once JYP Entertainment's all-Japanese group debuts. TV Chosen is preparing a new show where ordinary people date celebrities.